What is going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So apologies then for the lack of videos in the last few days. I've just been stupidly crazy busy um, over the last few days really just making sure that I'm tying up all the loose ends um, before I start closing things down then for Christmas. So today is Friday then which is like the cutoff point before deliveries will start um, arriving after Christmas. So I'm just making sure there's no loose ends because what I tend to do is shut all my stores down from this point onwards and then open them up in that first week of January. So I take the best part of two weeks off pretty much just to kind of take a step back, refresh my mind um, and come up with a plan then of what I want to do um, in the year to come. So anyway, you've seen the title of the video. Today is another product research video. The last product research video I did then got really, really good feedback. Um, I think it got something like 65 likes, which is just completely unreal. Um, especially for this channel, we usually average somewhere between uh, 20 and 30. So a massive thank you to you guys then. Everybody watched the video, or well, it's pretty much support the channel then for this year. Um, to say we're approaching nearly 2,000 subs is just completely um, crazy. So thank you very much to you guys. So today then I'm going to be showing you three completely new research methods or strategies if you like um, that I've never shown you guys before. They're completely new and ultimately then I want to help you guys find those winning products um, for the new year. So that being said, thank you for tuning in and let's get straight into it. What is going on then guys and welcome to my computer. So let's jump straight into this then and the first method or strategy that I wanna show you guys then is using this website here. So this is a website called exchangemarketplace.com and basically what it is then is it's a place for people to sell their Shopify stores. Now this is actually a really powerful method to find winning products because essentially what we're doing is we're gonna be looking at stores that are for sale where people are quite clearly, as you can see, declaring the kind of numbers that they're doing so this particular store here at the very top then what you can do is I'll show you in a minute in the video um, but you can actually go on to their store see what their best sellers are and then there's immediate proof there when it comes to product research then the easiest way to find a winning product is to actually find evidence that it's a winning product an actual proof that that product is selling well and this is stone cold evidence then if you can actually find a product that you know 100% as a fact that is selling really well then there's absolutely no reason why you can't go and sell that very same product um, and sell it well as well and make money. So this website then, before we actually jump into an example, I just wanna show you the kind of filters at the top that you have. Um, the first one being this business type because you can actually filter by print on demand stores. So whether you are actually in the market for a store or you just wanna find certain products, um, that are either printed or drop shipped. Um, I talk about drop shipping a lot on this channel, so we're gonna use that as an example. Um, and then you can also filter by obviously what the selling price is. But what I like to do is choose the revenue because we want the big stores that are doing the big numbers. And then that way we're going to make sure that we're, we're essentially finding products that have big potential as well. So if we just go ahead and click 15,000 plus revenue per month. Now, what's this, what this is going to do then is it's going to give us all the stores according to those filters. But as you can see, this second one down um, is a private listing. And what that essentially means is they're not going to give you your store URL. So if we just click on this, if we look up here, as you can see, it says URL hidden. Now, sometimes there will be details about the certain niche, but what we want is we want a listing that actually gives us the URL. And then that way we can actually go into their store, filter by best selling products, and then we'll see immediately then. So this first store then, it's not hidden. So we'll use this as an example. So average monthly revenue then is $127,000, which is pretty decent. And it gives us the URL here. So if we click on that and open it up, now, what I just want to show you guys, because I think these guys did over 3 million in a year. They did. So if we go in their store then and look at their best selling products, the chances are some of these products then are going to be million dollar products that we can actually go ahead um, and find on AliExpress and start selling ourselves. We know these guys are drop shipping, so we should then in theory be able to find these products on AliExpress. So the first thing then that I want to point out about this store is just how simple and basic the actual layout and design is. Um, as we saw then, they did over $3 million in revenue in the course of a year, which is like a pretty big amount and just how basic their store design is. So I think a lot of people were guilty of over complicating things or trying to make their store look absolutely perfect. Um, but this is actually a great example to show you guys because there's nothing special. There's nothing unique. Anybody with... Um, like, like the basic sort of knowledge of Shopify could easily create a store as good as this, um, if not better. So anyway, that being said, 
going straight to their homepage, it actually tells us what their best sellers are. Um, but just in case you haven't seen this technique before, what you can actually do on some Shopify stores is if you take this piece of URL here and just stick it on the end of like their home URL, um, then it will actually show you their best sellers in order as well. So what this has done then is it sorted all their products in the best selling. So as we can see then, this is their very best selling t-shirt combination. So you're killing me, you're killing me smalls and then he's smalls. We've got regional manager, assistant to the regional manager. Now my guess would be that these guys are print on demand because it's clothing, but just looking at these best selling products then, the chances are like, so like pretty much probably all of these products are six figure products. What's great about this as well, or at least these designs is because it's just text, they can't be trademarked either. So there's absolutely no problem with us actually going ahead and selling the very same products. So there's a couple of things then we can do to see if they're actually drop shipped or print on demand. The first thing is to look at their delivery. Uh, so shipping returns and FAQ. Um, as soon as we know what that shipping time is, so please allow up to 10 days for your order to arrive at your doorstep. So the chances are then this is probably print on demand rather than actual drop shipped um, clothing. But say this was then, this is actually quite a bad example to show you if you wanted to find the products on AliExpress. So if we just take, um, let's take this one for example and just search for it on AliExpress and see what comes up. So was it retail manager? Retail manager t-shirts. These guys are gonna have a great process, like they're gonna have serious processes in place to deal with the returns on these because essentially what somebody's doing is they're buying two pieces of clothing and the chances of both of those pieces actually fitting is probably quite slim. Um, so the logistics and planning that goes probably goes into that site is going to be huge. So as we saw then, the products didn't actually come up on AliExpress. Now I'm not going to spend a like, crazy amount of time trying to find the actual product just because it'll probably take too long. So let's go back to Exchange um, and let me see if I can actually find um, a proper drop shipping store then that we can actually go ahead and start selling the same sort of products. Um, I want to give you guys the best examples now because it is a product research video, um, it can get messy. Because um, there's no guarantees with product research. There's no way that you're always going to find that winning uh, product on your first go. So on this, onto this next one then. So 130,000 US dollars, um, and an average monthly revenue then of over 45 grand. Now, one thing, one word of warning is to check what they do on a monthly basis and see how long they've been in been in business before. Because ultimately, then you want to find products that are sustainable. So let's open up this URL then. Uh, luxury bracelet. So this is a good one to um, to have a look at then, because the chances are uh, we'll be able to find these exact same bracelets on AliExpress then. So let's go back. Uh, let's use this same method. Let's go straight to the best-selling products. And as we can see, so I've seen some of these before on AliExpress for sure. Um, I know for a fact we can source these same products. Um, in fact, I used to sell this bracelet down here myself. So just to show you guys then, if we go over to AliExpress and put in um, something like crown bracelet maybe, let's try that crown bracelet. And as you can see then, in fact, this is the exact same one. Um, so nearly 14,000 orders. So we know straight away then that this is a winning product. Um, this actual store we know for a fact is selling them really well because it's in their best sellers. We've seen the kind of revenue and numbers they're turning over. Um, now, because to be honest with you guys, in terms of actual overall revenue, this store is quite small. So when we look at the best sellers, when we look at the best sellers, then because their revenue is only at 130,000 US dollars, we know that probably every single one of these products has the potential to do that much on its own. So what I'm trying to say then is that 130K might be made up of these first two bracelets and they've only sold say two or three of these other ones. So that is one thing you have to be careful of. When you do come to actual stores um, to check out, then obviously make sure you choose the ones with the highest amount of revenue. Another thing you can always do is actually just contact the seller and ask them what their best selling products are because they're selling the store. Um, they'll have no problem with actually telling you that. Um, so 
that's the first method then hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did please do leave a like on the video um, and it kind of leads us into the next method that i want to show you guys so in terms of finding best sellers so we found that bracelet we can go into aliexpress find the exact same products and as you can see the order numbers are really high so that's a good sign and it shows that people like the products and it's popular but an even better way than to actually find those best selling products on aliexpress is to search for something then that's called a vip link so if i just put this into the search bar and hit enter what you'll see is a load of product listings and some of them then won't even have product images and this is actually a really powerful way of finding winning products because essentially then every single one of these products is going to be a winning product and the reason for that being then because what's happening here then is there's a drop shipper like me and you who's buying hundreds of a particular item and what they're doing is they've approached the supplier and they've said hang on a second i'm buying loads and loads of these products so i want a preferential rate i want you to sell it to me cheaper because i'm buying so many and the supplier is turning around and saying yep that's absolutely fine but what i'm going to do is i'm going to set up a custom product listing that you that's going to be unique to you basically and only you can buy it from that link now of course anybody can come onto this particular link here and buy it this vip only one but because there's no product image and no product description then essentially you don't know what you're buying because there's no there's no details of the actual product so you'd be mad to actually go ahead and sell this to somebody but because this has been specifically set up for a certain um, drop shipper then um, they know exactly what they're buying and they know exactly what they're getting so essentially what it does is it creates a unique relationship between drop shipper and supplier and it's great for us because we can actually see what these products are and then start delving deeper into them so for instance then this unicorn toy here we can, if we filter by orders in fact let's go for the ones with the bigger numbers um, so this unicorn toy is still coming up now i did actually feature um, unicorns in a previous niche video so i know for a fact that they are trending now and they're really popular but say you want actual evidence and that this particular product is selling well if this isn't enough evidence for you then there's a few other things you can do so you can go to google trends then um, now I'm not going to go into crazy details because I've briefly gone over this in previous videos So I don't want to bore you guys and show you guys the same content um, So I'm just gonna go over this quickly But essentially what you can do then is if you go to Google Trends and just put in um, pretty much exactly what the product is so it's a, a unicorn toy We'll just hit enter um, and as you can see, this line illustrates the popularity of this product. Now you can filter it to the different time, um, kind of different time um, time ranges um, and countries as well. So if you go worldwide, and if uh, by the way, guys, if you're not using Google Trends, I thoroughly recommend it because it is super powerful. It tells you exactly how popular that product is currently now. Um, and it tells you the actual interest by region. So you know exactly what countries to go ahead and actually um advertise that product in and it gives you related queries down here so we know by just by looking this as well that unicorn bracelets um, are trending right now as well so that's another potential product we can start doing research into um, the next kind of way of finding out whether products is selling or not is on watchcount.com and what this does is it's going to search um, all the products on ebay um, and the products on aliexpress and ebay tend to be the same so if we just go on again just search unicorn toy I'll wait for this to load up try and find the exact one um, now it doesn't look as if we're going to find it let's go back to the product listing actually and see if just get a bit more detail so it's a unicorn plush toy um, again it's not that's oh here we go so this looks like it, it looks very similar so if we open that up then it's going to take us to the actual ebay listing and now what we want to look for is that actual evidence that people are buying this. So as we can see straight away, um, 150 sold, and that's more than the amount of watches it had. Um, so that tells us then that people actually have a big enough interest in this product um, to actually buy it. What you don't want then, if I show you the listing on watch count again, 
so 84 watches and it had over 150 sales so as long as that sold number is higher than the watch number then that's good evidence then that people are actually buying that product because when, when you start doing a lot of product research you'll soon see that some products have loads and loads of watches uh, but not actually that many sales and we want actual evidence then that people are committing and spending money on this product and then the third and final way i'll show you guys to see if a product um is selling well or not um it's on facebook uh, so the internet's going really slow tonight i don't know why so it really is as simple as just searching in here uh, let's just put unicorn so let's just put unicorn plush toy uh, my computer keeps freezing so as we can see then there's loads of different things popping up in fact if we filter by photos that should give us an overview then uh, not photos posts that should give us an overview of the engagement as well so if we just have a quick scroll through, what we want is we want to try and find the post then with the most engagement. Um, and as we can see then, so two and a half thousand comments, over 2000 shares. This is a really popular post. Obviously a lot of money is going into this. Um, otherwise, no one spends money on things that doesn't work. So if there's loads and loads of views and shares, and engagements like this then that's a great sign that the product is doing well so it's, again it's a just it's more evidence than that it's a best selling so it's, it's a winning product essentially another thing that you want to do as well if you want actual more evidence then um, then if you actually open up the comments you want to find people commenting um, that they're actually buying it so these guys seem to be spamming themselves um, telling people where to buy it um, I'm so getting this for an ARAS. So again, that's kind of like intent there. It shows you that people are interested and want to buy it. Uh, for Chloe and Nova, uh, Hera needs this. Uh, Trin um, Trinity needs one. So as you can see, people are absolutely loving this toy. Now, if we, if you keep scrolling, um, if an ad's been around long enough, then you should eventually find people commenting, saying they've ordered one and received it and given their review. What I found on all my ads, once they've started running for about a month and people had started receiving their orders, people would actually come back to the actual post and leave a review on there, um, which is a great thing. But I'm not gonna waste your time scrolling through all the comments, you know what to do. Um, and if you're still watching the video actually, then I really do appreciate it. Not many people actually watch these videos all the way to the end. So if you are enjoying the video, thank you very much. Um, and please do leave a like. So hopefully then you guys get the gist then of what I was trying to do on this particular um, method. If you just search VIP link, it's gonna give you all of these product listings and essentially winners because they wouldn't be set up and customized otherwise. Now, another thing to show you guys is you might be thinking, yeah, that's all well and good for the list that actually show you what the product is but for the listings that don't show you what the product is so these these top four then the most popular four um, they don't actually tell you what the product is however there are a couple of things then that we can do to actually find out exactly what these products are so if we just take this first one as an example um, now guys if there's been like weird audio moments or things have cut out in the video then I do apologize for whatever reason my computer's going really slow and I've been watching some of the footage back and it seems to cut out so if there is make sure you let me know down below in the comment section so anyway I've just opened up the number one product listing and there's actual product images for this which is weird that's not usual um, now no idea what this is actually um cone eye scraper set of four uh, so bad example let's actually have a look at the next one along so uh, i won't try and pronounce that now there are some details here which might come in handy um, in a second so as you can see there's a range of colors and there's a height if we scroll down so we've got vip link for old customer plush toy and if we have a look at the details we've got um, plush elephant um, any other details that might help us out so we've got plush elephant what we can actually do now is if we actually open up the supplier so they've been in business over five years which is a great sign that's pretty long actually for an aliexpress um, supplier let's open up all their products and let's filter them by orders now what we're going to do is 
the fact that this product listing is near the top, the chances are if it's a popular product, then it's one of their best selling and it's going to be one of these then with loads of orders. Now, if we go back to the original product listing, if we have a look at the top, we can see there was two different height options. So 14, 60 centimeters, and there was all these different color options. Plus, I think it even said plush elephant. It did. So straight away already, then we know exactly what product it is. Just looking at these, if we look at the elephants, it even says it in a description. 40 to 60 centimeters so we know for a fact is this product so straight away within a couple of minutes we've found a guaranteed winning product um, and as you can see there's a price discount so that's purely why these links are set up then because obviously somebody is buying this particular product um, in quite high volumes and they want a discount which is fair enough and as you can see there's over a pound discount per unit so if somebody's buying say even if it's only 20 units a day then that's like nearly 30 quid um, like on extra on their bottom line every single day which soon adds up so that's product research method number two there was kind of two in one there so i guess that's kind of three in total guys if you're still watching the video then thank you very much i really do appreciate the people who watch the videos all the way throughout hopefully you guys are enjoying the video if you're still watching then the chances are you are um, all i ask then is that you hit that like button so that being said i'm going to wrap that up for method number two moving on to method number three it's going to be a pretty quick one just because i'm getting conscious of the length of this video um, if you haven't already heard of wish.com, then I seriously suggest you check it out because essentially what it is, is a pretty much a copy of AliExpress almost. And you're buying these products from Wish and then Wish, Wish are essentially a middleman and they have all these different factories and products in China. Then we buy the product from Wish and they ship it to us. Um, if I find you some extra details just to show you guys um, their shipping um, shipping details, where are we going? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Help and FAQ. <clears throat> so shipping and delivery. So orders are typically shipped within one to two days, um, but shipping times vary based on the individual store and destination. So basically depending on what supplier you're buying it from. And what's great about Wish is that you can pretty much find every single product on here on AliExpress and they tell you straight away what the popular ones are, um, the blitz buys, which ones you can source a lot quicker. So I've done a video on items you can source and drop ship from AliExpress as well uh, within a few days. And these will typically be products then that are closer to your local country. So if you're in the UK, these products then might be located in, say, France, Spain um, or Germany. And you can actually filter as well by the niche as well. So if you're in the sports and outdoors niche, it's going to show you all the popular products. Now, you can actually sell lasers on Facebook. So make sure you know what you can and can't sell. <clears throat> But what's great as well is it tells you the order numbers as well. So um, these binoculars, then over 20,000 orders, which is absolutely huge, over a thousand of them, um, et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully you guys get the gist of what I'm doing there. Like I said, if you haven't checked it out, make sure you have a quick look at Wish. It's a great place, like a start in place to just get ideas for certain products. You do need an account, though, to actually look at the product. So um, just give me your email address or whatever it is they ask for. Now, that being said, I'm going to wrap the video up there. I think I've been talking on for ages and ages. I'm not quite sure how much of this video is actually going to come out either. Um, just because, like I mentioned earlier, there's been certain points cutting out. It's been so frustrating. It's taken me, um, I think I started recording this at about 8 o'clock and it's now gone past 10. So as you can see, a lot of time has gone into this video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Hopefully you're still watching. If you are, thank you very much. And I'll see you all in the next one.